It's gonna be in a rhythm. Ready, set, splash. Ready, set, splash. Step, toss, and splash. I'm Isabel Epstein and I'm a Nikon 100 editorial fashion photographer. There's some uh, pretty important issues out there. The massive area of floating trash in the Pacific that's twice the size of Texas. A whirlpool of plastic in the ocean. It's known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. While issues like this may seem too big or uncomfortable to even think about, Isabel Epstein is using her unique skill set to raise awareness. I met up with her in Brooklyn, New York to hear more about her process. So we're doing a marine fashion editorial. It's sort of a, a dual focus. We're doing a focus on environmental activism and then also just like a, a regular fashion shoot. And we're combining the two to make something really unique. I think the goal overall is I want to raise awareness more than anything. I want people to reduce their usage of plastics and non-recyclables. Um, I want people to recycle more, to reuse more, and to see fewer items going into landfills. I manipulate seamless backdrops in such a way that they can become Rather than a backdrop, they can become actually a focal point of the image. I like to create textures, colors, and patterns, and shapes with stuff that's available to me in the studio. So I've come up with ways that I'm going to be combining the different uh, seamless backdrops that we have up here, the navy and the light blue, and then also the white one. Another aspect is I'm taking my wardrobe and I'm using clothing not as necessarily a conduit for fashion, but as a conduit for art. So like for instance, I saw this piece and this is, this is totally haute couture, but it's also really reminiscent of plastic and the iridescence reminded me of glistening water in the ocean. So I thought it'd be perfect. I'm looking for pieces that are gonna contribute shapes, textures, and colors that are similar and reflective of the ocean. One thing I was really blown away by is just how long everything takes to set up. This particular photo shoot took about three hours of preparation. That means three hours of setup time before the first photo is even taken. Her attention to detail is like no one else's. Um, I think uh, in modern day there's a lot of Instagram photographers and she's definitely not one of those people. She cares about her craft very deeply. So down to the last detail is important to her and she'll make sure it's right before she does anything. The intensity, okay, so that's what it separates her from other artists. Isabel, she's intensity. I think she's really passionate about uh, everything that she really does. It's like my brain is outside of my body. It's this synergistic relationship of me and this that, that, that creates things. I can plan and plan, and when I come to a shoot, all those plans that I create, they just, they just disappear. And it's wherever the relationship between myself and my camera takes me. So I think the biggest problem with plastic in the ocean for a lot of people is that it's sort of out of sight, out of mind. 
the ocean isn't exactly in any one country, so I feel like everyone just kind of pushes responsibility off to another person. How do you think we can combat that? We need to start making change at the individual level, which is how things start to progress until the national and then global level. So if you as an individual decide, you know what, instead of plastic bottles, I'm going to start, I'm going to buy a reusable water bottle and start filling it myself at home. That is going to save a huge amount of plastic bottles every year because you're that one person who's now going to save. If you drink a plastic bottle of water every day, you're saving 365 bottles alone. Just your one, just one person. I think ultimately every single person needs to make a difference. So if that's just using a reusable water bottle, that's just as important. And recycling, reusing, recycling, and reducing your consumption. Oh.